Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In one of the last live streams, you asked me, Marina, what do I do if I understand the language but I cannot speak it? Guess what? I had the same problem. And I can give you a few tips that really helped me overcome this problem. So if you're interested, please continue watching this video. Back to San Francisco. Our minds may change. Thing number one that you have to understand is that our brain is a magic thing. It actually has all of the information. Because sometimes you think, oh my God, I have been learning English for two years and I don't see the progress. But the thing is, you've actually learned a lot of stuff during these two years. You've learned vocabulary, you've learned grammar, you've learned how to speak. But guess what? You haven't had practice. And that's your problem. Like, Everything is inside, everything is there, but you need the stressful situation that would help this information come out. How do you create the stressful situation? Advice number one. Okay, you don't have to follow it, but at least, at least listen to it because it helped me. Oh my God, it helped me. Like this was one of the best things, not the best, but second best. I started a YouTube channel in English. And I started this, this exact channel that you're watching. If you go back to my very first video, oh, you're gonna hear that I speak in a completely different manner and I had to cut out so many things because I started it when I was back in Russia and I didn't have a lot of practice of English, but I knew that I have to be regular with my videos. So I switched on the camera and started talking to the camera. And this is exactly what you can do. You don't have to post them and make them public. But I would advise you to do that because YouTube actually changed my life. You can make money with it. It's a great tool to meet new people. It's a great tool to interact with people in the comments. I would ask you to shoot a video on a topic that you love and where you think you're an expert. Post it on YouTube. There is an option to make it unlisted if you're afraid. But when I started my YouTube channel, I was also afraid, but I never shared it with my friends. So I just posted and made it live. By the way, if you decide to make a video on YouTube, please tag me and tag LinguaTrip so we can see this video, if you're not afraid of cause. Another advice that I will give you, of course, you have to talk to native speakers, but I understand that sometimes when you start talking to them, you're like, uh, I don't understand something. Sometimes they tell something using some background knowledge I have no idea about. Well, it's okay. And I'm happy to explain some concepts that they may not understand. So don't be afraid to ask people to repeat something. If you don't understand, ask them what they meant. It is also very important to stay proactive in the conversation. So even if you don't understand, again, ask questions, maintain eye contact. I know a lot of you come from the cultures where you don't look people in the eye and I come from the same culture and I see a lot of Russian people like staring at the table when they talk. Don't do that in America. People look each other in the eye. And that's the uh, gesture of friendliness and that means that you understand the culture. Another thing, in some cultures, people would not shake hands with women or it would be like a weird handshake where you do it like this. No, in America, it's a firm handshake, even with you know girls and I shake people's hands when I go into the meetings. So follow these cultural tips as well. Ah, dominant handshake. I think America is one of the best places to study English, especially if you're interested in something else apart from English. Like I am interested in entrepreneurship. I would come to San Francisco, then have classes in the morning and then research meetup.com in the evening so I can meet fellow entrepreneurs, you know, visit offices of big companies. If you love Hollywood, go to LA. If you love design and fashion, that's New York. I love how diverse this country is and how every city is like the top city in some particular um, sphere, like, you know, business and um, entrepreneurship. So uh, select a city and come and travel. The coolest thing is that when you travel, you encounter English everywhere. I walk now, I want to buy something. I would just have to speak English because nobody speaks Russian. Well, some people speak Russian here, but this is not definitely not the language I'm going to use here. So you would have to practice. If you are coming here for the first time, I would recommend staying with a homestay because you can stay with locals and you can practice English 24-7. If you want to be more independent, there are also student residences where you stay with people from other countries 
and you know also communicate 24 7 but when i traveled for the first time for the second time for the third time <laughs> for the fourth time i always stayed with homestays because i just love local people i love to connect with them and ask them questions and you know ask them to show me the best places around and you know just learning how people live here Another great way to practice your English is calling a company that has support in English because they have to tolerate your language like Booking.com for example or Expedia or an international company you can even call your local company and try speaking English like call the largest hotel in your city that accepts international guests or well, the cheapest way to contact those companies is to top up your Skype credit like you can pay ten dollars and just start calling people and asking them questions this is like the best you don't see those people you will never see them again but you can practice your English some tips for the conversation uh, use really simple words and don't over complicate what you want to say like it's okay if you don't give like 10 examples of the phenomena that you're describing use the words that you understand and that other people would understand so they would answer you with the same words because if you over complicate things people will repeat you in over complicated phrases don't do that another thing always have a really clear call to action maybe before calling a company or before talking to a native speaker write down what you need from him like have it on the piece of paper or maybe in the notes on your iphone so that you know what to ask for and again you know what's the goal of the whole conversation that's theory what you need to do again, you need to practice. The best progress that I had speaking English was actually when I traveled to the UK. I was 14 and imagine Marina like straight A student at school and she thinks that she knows everything. She's the best at English. She comes to the customs in the UK uh, and people ask her something she doesn't get. I didn't get what they told me. I was like, hello, my name is Marina uh, from Russia. Yes. What? then i just didn't understand what they told me and that's the problem like you have to create those stressful situations where you put yourself in an environment where everybody speaks english and you can easily do it by traveling by coming here to a language school and i've done five language trips in my life and they definitely changed my life they def definitely shaped me as a person so let's go to a real language school here in san francisco and i'll show you what it looks like to be there as a student let's go Would you laugh at somebody who has an accent? Absolutely not. I love accents. Yeah, it's part of, you know, that's part of learning a new language. You're always gonna have an accent. Yeah. A lot of people think accents are really cool. That's what I keep telling. Like people sometimes are like, oh, I have an accent. I wouldn't be able to talk to other people. I'm like, I love when people speak Russian. Like <laughs> I love when they try. It doesn't matter if you do like a hundred mistakes in a simple sentence. I would just, you know, do my best to understand you. So Absolutely. same with English. You wouldn't laugh at people, right? Not at all. You would Not just encourage them to Absolutely. go out and practice. Absolutely. Don't be afraid. Ah, this is, yeah, this is This you. is me. <laughs> <laughs> Excursion trips to LA, Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not much, but simple. Nice, you don't have a choice. Yeah, That's simple just... items. Nice. Spencer. Hey. How old was your youngest student? Uh, we have 16 year old, 16, 17 year old students. What will you tell to a student 17, 16, afraid to travel alone? This is like their first trip. Yeah, I would say be brave. It's a great, fantastic experience to come off here, out here on your own, live on your own. And you do learn a lot about yourself and about your ability to, you know, go somewhere and travel. My school. I went there for like a short, short class. Which one? Nice one. New York Film Academy. Oh, yeah. I saw it on YouTube. Oh, which video? 
a video on how to improve a uh, better score in GMAT. I subscribe your channel. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Um, South Korea. South Korea. Going to South Korea in August. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. yeah. Vietnam. Vietnam? Yeah. Cambodia. Wow. F and V. Could you give me one word that starts with F? Familiar. And then what's a word that begins with V? Volt. Volt. Did you say, yeah, like uh, electricity. And I want you to write them down on your whiteboard. So for example, if I say fairy, you could write fairy, F-E-R-R-Y. But if you mishear me, you might write down this one by accident, V-E-R-Y. Why? With the president's recommendation. Hmm. With the president's recommendation. H is adverse. 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 Uh, I is despite. 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 J is claustrophobia. 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 All right, excellent. Are you guys going to take Juma? Uh, we are preparing, but we not yet plan. Okay. But we are. I have taken Juma. You can ask me anything. <laughs> I would like to ask you too. You, I guess you got um, 116 for TOEFL. 117. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me. I really me, uh, enjoyed the class. It's uh, nice, <laughs> uh, nice to have you in class. Yeah, I hope you. you learned something. I, I have, yes. <laughs> Hi guys, hope to see you soon! Yay, bye bye! All right. See ya! <laughs>like compared to LA you can walk here you can walk well if you're in the city center you can walk a lot in LA you cannot you only drive it's a little windy <laughs> but the weather is so cool thank you so much for watching this video there is a Ram coming! We're in San Francisco! Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the content, please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you're not yet subscribed. The red button is below. I love our community. It's growing really fast. We're learning new languages. We're learning how to succeed in life and we're becoming better us every single day with every single video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next videos. Bye!